In this particular situation, I had the great fortune of working with a, an amazing company, Collings, to come up with a refined version of their City Limits uh, solid body guitar. Putting this guitar together uh, was a real journey. And uh, over time, and I've been working with Collings for five years now, over time with um, their input and my input, I think we came up with a guitar that really takes this model, the City Limits, to its highest level. What I look for in a great guitar is a guitar that sort of becomes invisible when I start playing. A guitar that doesn't get in the way of inspiration. And I find that a lot of times a guitar will be almost right and it'll be almost there and there'll be things about it that are almost, almost correct. But just those things that aren't almost there get in the way of, uh, of, of my uh, bonding with the instrument. So with Collings, they listen. And they're a kind of company that when I told them a couple of these things, uh, they, they figured out a way to, to make it work. <laughs> I've had the great fortune of playing amazing instruments. I've been very, very lucky. I've, I've played quite a few 59 bursts. Uh, I've owned and played some of the greatest guitars by the, in, in this golden age of uh, bespoke builders. I know what I like and I would wanted a guitar that I could get from Collings that I could share with my customers, with my clients, my friends. And, and fellow professional players that would really awaken their whole uh, feeling to uh, what a great solid body guitar could be. So in this case, the City Limits was a perfect platform to start with. And taking all the elements out of it, I, I really focused on everything and tried to get the refinement um, to each part and to make the sum greater than the whole. In this case, um, in the finish of the guitar, uh, Collins now offers an age finish, which I think really works great with this model. The age finish they do is not a, a standard relic. Uh, it's not like a Murphy relic or even a Fender relic where they beat up the guitar. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. It just isn't that. This is more of a kind of relic where it's, it's, it's a closet classic um, attitude where it's warm, it's, it's uh, finish is, is checked, the, the binding is yellowed, the hardware, is, hardware is, is aged, but nothing is like worn through to the bare wood. And what it does is when you pick up the guitar, at least when I pick up the guitar, it just makes me bond with the instrument. It feels like an instrument I've owned, I've played before, uh, or, or a guitar that has, has a life to it. It, it, it. Music has already been created on this guitar, and uh, I'm just uh, going to the next level, and that's sort of what it feels like. I spent a lot of time also on the neck, the neck shape of the guitar, and on this, in this particular case, Collings was really focused we uh, took a little bit of meat off the, the, the shoulders of the neck. We um, rounded, the rounded the fingerboard so that it has that worn in feel and just ever so slightly reduced the, uh, the profile. And I think it came, comes as close as I can come to a, uh, the real deal 59 neck. It just 
is right on, it's perfect, and it's eminently playable. Uh, the guitar sounds great. I mean, we had throwbacks in here, and it just offers a, um, this, this, this bloom to the notes. dig into this guitar it comes alive it's um it's great and and I'll, I'll tell you one of the things that always bother me about old les pauls uh, if anything can bother you uh is the bass on those guitars can get a little flubby a little muddy and collings just very articulate. When all the pieces come together, it's really something special. This is a great guitar. And uh, I hope you can check it out.